neurosurgeon said that removal of the brain tumor can cause weakness of limbs or a loss of speech? Awake craniotomy may help you. I am Dr. Callian. I am a consultant neurosurgeon and spine surgeon in Hyderabad. I will try to explain regarding awake craniotomy and its advantages in a simple way. Before I explain the awake craniotomy, let me explain you regarding the functional areas of brain. Of course all the parts of brain are functional but some parts of brain are more functional than others. For example, the area marked in red is called Broca's area and it controls one's ability to speak. Similarly the area marked in orange is motor cortex and it controls the motor strength of muscles. The area marked in yellow is sensory cortex. The green area is called Wernick's area and it controls one's ability to comprehend or understand. These are the functional areas seen from top. This picture explains you where awake craniotomy is useful. On left side, the tumor is not on a functional area of brain. So removal of this tumor does not cause serious neurological deficits. So this can be removed with conventional craniotomy. On the other hand, the tumor on right is on motor cortex. Removal of this tumor can cause weakness of limbs. If we perform a conventional craniotomy, during removal of tumor, the patient is completely unconscious and doesn't allow neurological assessment. So it may lead to significant neurological deficits. On the other hand, in awake craniotomy, during tumor removal the patient is conscious and this allows the surgeon to assess the neurological status of patients as the tumor resection is being carried on. So he will be able to remove maximum tumor with minimal neurological deficits. Let me explain you exactly what happens during awake craniotomy. Hair is shaved and the incision site is infiltrated with local anesthesia. Skin flap is elevated. Skin flap is reflected exposing underlying bone. Bone is removed and underlying brain with its coverings are exposed. The brain coverings called meninges are open. Now brain is exposed along with tumor. Now patient is made completely awake. He hears and obeys surgeon's commands. This allows neurological assessment during tumor removal. The neurological status is doubly checked during tumor removal. First check. Patient is asked to perform various functions like moving hands and legs, speaking, reading to assess the intactness of these functions. Second check. Now the surgeon directly stimulates the functional areas with small currents to check the intactness of these areas as the tumor resection progresses. At slightest abnormality either in the first check or second check, the surgeon becomes more careful and alters his surgical strategy to achieve his task of safe maximal excision. Finally maximal amount of tumor is removed with minimal neurological deficits. This is called safe maximal excision which is the ideal goal of surgery for maximum number of brain tumors. If you want to know further regarding awake craniotomy, kindly contact on that phone number.